Hi guys, Steph here. What we've got for you today, some of you would have seen this pen make a brief appearance on another video, but since then what we've done, we've fully restored it, we've replaced the washer inside, the plunger washer, we've put new new cork washers in the pen, we've totally cleaned it internally, the feed, the nib, etc, etc. So as we'll see in a moment, it's in full working order. Now the problem that I've got with this pen is that I'm rather puzzled with the model. I've, I must admit to you it's a learning curve even to everybody. The nice thing about pens, every day we learn something new. This model I'm not too sure which it is. It could be what they termed as the 2000. It could be what they termed as the old model um, with this clip here it could be what they termed as a military style anotto pen so I've no well I've no idea I've done a little bit of homework I couldn't find anything about it so anybody out there who knows what this model is please let us know let's share it with everybody but what I do know the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is 120 millimeters capped around the barrel it's around about 11 millimeters in diameter so as you can see it's a short model so one thing I do know this is what they term as a short model the date of the pen I would date it around about well I don't know maybe 1920s 1930s so it is a vintage pen it is an old pen as you can see to the end there it's a plunger filler fountain pen and also you'll notice it has these two gold bands here now the gold bands if I can sort of turn them round the left hand side band there I'm hoping you can see reads 18 carats and if I turn it round a little bit more the right hand band there you'll also see it says 18 carat so the lovely thing about it we've got these two large 18 carat gold bands very unusual one thing I do know that as you can see it's got what we term as a split cap so I do know these Anotto pens with the slip caps are quite quite unusual not necessarily sorry necessarily rare but they are quite unusual you'll notice there it's got this lovely ball clip to the cap as well and if I take you to the top of the to the top of the clip there hopefully you can see to the very top it says Pat applied for so we don't have the sort of any Anotto logo just this pat applied for on the on the clip there so once again this gorgeous what we term as a split cap all in all in beautiful condition there's some slight discoloring to the pen although it's quite uniform all over the pen so in my opinion it doesn't distract from the beauty of the pen it's still a lovely pen the cap to this one if we pull it off is a slip cap which sits on nice and tightly as it should let's give you some twirls so you can see it in different angles a very nice handsome pen and a very collectible pen as well you'll notice the section there very recognizable very reminiscent of the Anotto pens of that period so a slight step down towards the nib now if we take you to the nib there let's keep it nice and still for you and what we have is a Delarue Anotto London nib let's try and give you a different angle as you can see everything is nice and clean there's a sideways view for you and then underneath we've got the again for you people that no, don't know Anotto's the very recognizable Anotto feed underneath 
and you can see again all very nice and clean um, the feed on this this one and inside we have what we call the shut off valve i.e. that once you fill the pen what you need to do is open the valve slightly to to allow ink flow as we said earlier it's a plunger filler which means we simply unscrew the plunger like so and we pull out the plunger like so to fill the pen we install the nib into the ink and what we do we press down on the plunger in one swift movement what you may hear let's put it towards the camera okay I'm hoping you could hear that slight sort of popping and hissing sound from this area here which basically sounds exactly what we want to hear so I know you people want to see it writing so let's pop out the plunger let's insert the nib in the ink and I'll be quiet so I'm hoping you could hear that some loud sort of bubbling and a nice popping noise we're not leaving it in generally what you can do is leave it in for a number of seconds but it's only for a writing sample let's screw the plunger all the way home like so let's bring on some paper and as I say because it's got this ink ink valve if you like inside what we need to do is give the plunger a turn backwards again and that in effect opens the shut off valve and allows the ink flow to the nib so this is the first time the pen has been written with since I've actually serviced and restored it so let's see how it writes what we have is a anotto and as I say this one's a patent self-filling self-filling pen and as, as it says on the, the barrel imprint it's Delarue London it's writing very nicely I'm not applying any pressure I'm just if you like writing normally but there we go as you'd expect from these nibs if we apply a little bit of pressure we can get a nice variation in line so let's do some figure of eights and there look at that so it's got a slightly flexy nib I would say it's writing with a sort of fine maybe to medium line but once we apply a bit of pressure you can see we can get a nice variation in the line from a fine line through to a broad to a broad line so a lovely writer as you would expect and as with these pens once you've actually finished writing and it's you know you want to pop it in your pocket or pop it down what you need to do is screw it all the way back that in effect sort of closes the the ink ink valve inside and then what you'd simply do is pop the cap back on and wait until it's been used the next time so a lovely pen lovely 18 karat gold bands quite an unusual and rare split cap all in all a short version plunger filler from around about 1920s 1930s in beautiful condition if again anybody knows a little bit more about the pen or the model then why not share it with us it will be appreciated but I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. But for now, 
I'll just say bye bye for now.